Hi everybody, Alison Cope here for Chibitronics. Today we're going to be making a slide switch sunset card and let's get started. We're going to be using the craft with light kit. This includes colored LEDs. We have six LED lights, red, yellow, blue, green, orange, pink, and a couple of batteries. We're going to be featuring this cute little sunglasses card front. All right, let's get to the circuit. If you notice, the uh, image is stamped on the front and we'll also find it on the inside. This just helps with the placement of all of our LED strips. I've made this folded little flap and we're just gonna take off the backside of our adhesive strip here. And we're gonna place it right over top of our greeting today because our greeting is going to become the switch for our card. I'm just double checking that I've got it right over top of that greeting. All right, let's use our craft stencil and we're gonna locate all six of our LED light stickers. Yes, we're gonna use six. So we're gonna use all of the LED light stickers in our craft with lights kit today. And we're just using the craft stencil to locate them. I'm trying to space them out kind of randomly in and amongst those panes on the glasses. So I'm just spreading them out. Tracing with the stencil is very quick and easy and makes for easily locating where your sticker has to go within your circuit. And let's put in number six. There we go. And now we're gonna locate our battery. I just use a circular die cut shape that I just trace inside. There we go, there's the location of our battery. We're not actually gonna use a battery holder today. We're just gonna tape in our battery. All right, we're gonna start our negative circle and we're gonna go right underneath the battery and we're gonna go right to the face, the inside face of our flap because it, once touched or depressed, is going to activate the circuit and turn on our LED lights. And it's special because wherever you press, based on the area, is going to actually cause the LEDs to light up. Now, I also want to indicate right now that these blue lines that I'm actually making are too long they needed to actually just stop just before the fold line. So I wanna show you what not to do, but I'm gonna fix it later before I realize that I have done something wrong. So we all make mistakes. And with this system, it's really easy to fix our mistakes too. All right, let's put in the positive side of our circuit. And again, we're just gonna use that craft stencil and we're going over top of the battery and touching the positive sides of our sticker. I am gonna put on a mask. So this is on the back of that image, which is going to allow only the light to pass through the lenses and not exceed outside of them. So if you tip it in the light, see, you can see the light through the lenses only. So this is just gonna help concentrate our light through one specific area. Okay, so let's apply our adhesive fabric tape. And this is a conductive product. Now we're going underneath the battery first. And to bend this stuff, you just bend it back on itself. It's very forgiving. And you just roll it off the backer and adhere it to whatever surface you are mounting it to. There we go, and it trims very easily with a set of scissors. And a quick snip. This will also work with our copper tape, but since we're using the Craft With Lights kit, it includes this conductive fabric tape. Okay, so here's where my problem lies. This first tape is not actually supposed to go all the way and touch that bottom line or the full piece right on the right hand side there 
it's only supposed to go just before the bend. And I realize at this point that, oops, I have made a mistake. And I need to go back and peel this tape back a little bit so that it's back behind the fold. Like I said, everybody makes mistakes. So again, this is really easy to combat. I'm just going to go back and trim those two pieces back. I'm going through my mind. Oh my goodness, I have just flubbed this up. So peeled it back, a little quick trim, and our circuit is saved before I get to all six. <laughs> All right, quick snip. And now we're going to complete the last four and cutting them before the fold line. All right, so we saved it just in time. Excellent. Right to the fold line, snip, snip. Let's attach our battery because we don't need a battery holder switch mechanism because our switch is down below when we bend up that face. We're going to continue to wrap these around on all of the red lines. They need to touch the top or the fat side of those triangular stickers and make sure they're crossing over that top line, which takes the circuit right to the battery. There we go. We get the top six of our positive. Let's put on our six colored LED. We're going to put yellow on first. Then we're going to take our red and we're going to put it across on <laughs> the fourth one. There we go. I'm trying to kind of keep in rainbow order. Uh, we're going to put our blue on. And then we're going to bring in the last three colors. We're going to put on our orange. And as you can see, the stickers are clearly labeled with letters to indicate their colors. So Y for yellow, O for orange, P for pink, R for red, B for blue, and finally a G for green. And we also have white lights. All right. So I'm just gonna turn off my lights here so we can get a quick visual. And just by pressing, that activates the circuit, becomes the switch and you can play for hours. <laughs> I had fun doing this. Awesome. Thanks so much for joining me today. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe, and we'll see you again soon. Happy circuit making.